What's going on everybody? My name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is Caesar tutorials on the numerical python package numpy. So in this tutorial we will be looking at some of the vector operations that are available in numpy, numpy arrays in detail. Although we did this a little implicitly in other videos, I thought it would be better to have one video dedicated especially for vector operations with our arrays. So that in another video, in one of the subsequent videos, we will talk about numpy matrices and uh, when the vector operations that are associated with them all right so i thought we'll i thought i'll have this separate video okay let's get started first we need some arrays to start so let me create an array np.1 and let's see let the size be 5 comma 3 to start with now so a is one fully one filled with ones with five rows and three columns cool now let's create b which is five times uh once so b will be a matrix filled with fives and, and similarly let's say c i already uh, so it's going to have a matrix with random numbers random integers between minus five and five whose size is five rows and three columns all right so c will be a matrix with random numbers between minus five and five all right Cool. Now we have matrices. Let us actually play around with it. Now, uh, <coughs> with this being said, uh, doing some operations like ma uh, multiplication, addition, subtraction are fairly easy. So let's say we want to see a plus b, and there you go. Is this clean? Is it as clean as it, as simple as it gets? So when I type a plus b, as long as the matrices are the same size, so to speak, the what happens during addition is that they will be added element wise similarly when i say a minus b let's say it will all be elemental multi elemental uh, operations so you can just substitute the entire matrices just like values i mean entire arrays just like uh, scalar values over here and it will work just fine similarly for multiplication multiplication it's just a normal multiplication sign that will work just for you so when you do when you put a a star b with a and b being null numpy arrays this star symbol, the asterisk symbol, does elemental multiplication, so you have to keep that in mind. Alternatively, there's another command called as np dot multiply, that will do the same operation for you. You can use any one of them of your choice, and that will give you the same option, same thing. Why this function is why this separate function? It's it's there to avoid ambiguity with the star sign. Sometimes, if you're if you do not know whether the array uh, a or b is um, a numpy array or a numpy matrix and you want to be perfectly sure that you don't have any, you don't leave any mistakes uh, multiplications and all you can use this sign all right similarly uh, I, I don't think a uh, division is supported oh yeah sorry my mistake division is supported what happens is that elemental division element wise division happens okay and similarly um, you, I think power also works. I, I suppose, for instance, let's say, um, let's say I create a new matrix A one, which is actually one point five times A. So this is scalar multiplication. So vector multiplication. So if you notice, I just multiplied a scalar to the vector to the matrix, and then every entry got multiplied by that value. So when I do, when I have a scalar multiplication with vector. With the um, numpy array, so to speak, it will multiply the each and every element, not just the first, but each and every element. Okay, now I can actually do with some power operations with this. So if I type a1 star star uh, b, let's say, and there you go, it's it's uh, it's been raised each and every element of a1 got raised by the end by the entries of b. So just to give you an idea, b is five. Uh, a1 is as you see it's 1.5 so each and every entry got uh, pa each and every entry that is 1.5 got raised to the power 5 so if it just for clarification if we just type 1.5 times 5 it's 7.59375 just like what we got over here so this clarifies that whenever we put uh, we put we raise one matrix to the other it will just it's going to be an elemental operation so this way you don't have to write loops and all okay to do elemental by, by multiplication with matrices with numpies or with numpy arrays you can just directly use them and this will save you quite a quite a lot of operation i mean quite a lot of effort 
next thing is uh, increment uh, next thing is what you call as the incremental operations i don't know i don't know what's the term uh, i think it's assignment operation i suppose let's see so you can also add uh, something like uh, add something like this so with a matrix uh, you take it itself and then add b to it and if you look at a it becomes 6 because we took the value of a and then added b to it and then assign it back to a this works perfectly fine similarly you can actually sub uh, you can actually uh, subtract itself with it and like you can go about with it and similarly there's and the multiplicate in the multiplication operation also supports all right let me clear this multiplication operation also supports then it works fine and thereby and also division operation also supports this thereby you get a results like this and of course you can raise this to the same power you can raise this to the same power i don't know i don't know i don't know whether this works i'm just going to give it a try huh it worked how about that okay so 5 raised to 5 is it yeah okay cool it worked i didn't expect this one but anyway <laughs> that's a good thing so these kind of operations are supported in numpy arrays let me clear this and uh, and uh, we can also do a little we can also do uh, ma uh, functions inside for instance let's say a is three uh, okay a is three thousand one hundred and twenty five if you want to take the square root of each and every entry in a let's say you can try this you will get a square root you can get a square root or um, or what you can do or you can uh, use the power function automatically so np dot power okay and you can just type a and then you specify the power you want so i want this to be zero po i want this to be reduced by uh, mean i want to take the fifth fifth root of it and there you go it gives that gives me results so if you want to raise it raise some uh, matrix to a power or an array to a power you can use the power matrix as well uh, as you know this uh, this also works but this is just a safety measure in case if you're mix and matching numpy arrays and matrices okay moving on moving on that's some one some of the features more than that um, uh, more than that we can also use functions and functions here a, so let's say a is 3125 you want to see you want to uh, divide the like let's divide this um, um, okay so a uh, equals a now a is 5 5 now let's say you want to uh, I, I put the give this input as an exponent for each and every fun, uh, exponent when I mean, you want to raise each and every value to an exponent you can just type np dot exp and then type a it will work just fine all right so this is nothing but uh, raising each and every value of uh, five or each and every value to the exponent so <coughs> it's like this so this command np dot exp exp dot one it will give you 2.71828 if you if you put uh, instead of exponent 1 if you put exponent 2 let's say it's e power 2 e, e square so to speak so this will write this uh, when, I, when I type np dot exp exp of a each and every entry of a will be taken will be taken as the power as the power for e and uh, and the value will be returned out cool now uh, Similarly, we can uh, do this with multiple functions and go, multiple functions and go about with that's pretty simple That's fairly obvious and this will also accept complex values as complex values as well and uh, One thing that uh, we need to know a little we need to know over here is uh, the How do you, what do you call this the dot product? That's something we haven't looked at. So let's say now a is this B is this okay B is this C is this all right now let's say I want to make a dot product of a and b. I can just type np dot dot a um, a comma b presenter. This won't work. Okay. This will not this will not actually work because we need to have uh, we need to have the dimension uh, dimensions uh, di dimensions proper for matrix multiplication. 
Uh, all right. So let's create. Uh, um, let's actually do the transpose of this. And th this should work. And there you go. So by default, if you have two matrices, the dot product will give you out the matrix multiplication, the proper matrix multiplication. Okay. And uh, <coughs> you can you can confirm this by um, different examples. For instance, let's say i equals np dot identity uh, identity and I sp and I place say five let's say five okay I is like this a, a is like this so five rows and three columns okay now let me put uh, a transpo a transpose t so that we have this becomes three comma five and then I pass an I and it's still this a transpose t is still this cool and uh, and you can also do some matrix inversions inversions for our inversions as well so let's see uh, c is the matrix over here let's uh, convert this into a let's actually convert this into a full uh, square matrix for matrix matrix inversion so there we go c is now a full matrix so if you want to kind of find the C inverse, I just can type C I N V. That's actually the inverse. N P dot. Uh, I think there should be a command for inverse. Okay, it's not here. There is a tool. There is a class called as lin a l g. And inside it, there is a function called as inverse. Inverse, and then. And then in and then inside you put the value, and then you look at the inverse, and there you go. Just to cross verify that the multiplication of C and C inverse gives you the identity matrix, you can try this out. So np dot uh, dot, which will give you the actual matrix multiplication. C comma C I in V presented, and there you go. All of this are filled with ones, and in the diagonals you have you have clo you have zero values. I mean. Technically, you don't get a perfect zero. That's because uh, you're pushing it to the machine level, machine precision. But nevertheless, if you look at it, only the diagonal values are one, and all other values are co very close to zero. So you can even you can take these as zero if you you can take these as zero if you want. All right. Similarly, uh, let's actually invert the order. So C inverse, and then I mean, change the order. Look at it. This result will give you uh, give you the same. This will also be inverse uh, identity matrices, so to speak. And except for the machine precision, everywhere uh, all everywhere along the diagonal is just one, but everywhere else is almost zero or close to machine precision zero. All right. So this way you have uh, inverse inverse and uh, inverse and a dot uh, matrix multiplication done. Okay, and finally. Uh, Finally, one thing that I like to do before uh, winding up this video is that I want to show you the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of these matrices. Uh, in the eigen eigenvalues and eigenvectors, it's pretty simple. Let's say C, C, it's, this is C matrix. If you want to calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors, I can type just a eig, eigval, comma, eigvec. So this will contain the eigenvalues and this will contain the eigenvectors. And then I have to use np dot lin a l g dot e i g there is a fun there is a function called as i this will give me both the calculate the both the values for me and then i have to present it now if i look at i well this these contains the eigenvalues of that of that particular matrix apparently uh, this matrix is such that there are two uh, complex and complex eigenvalues and if you look at eigenvectors this will contain the uh, five eigenvectors uh, five eigenvectors for me cool and there you go that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching this is your quick introduction a very good introduction to vector operations and uh, matter vector operations and uh, numpy and uh, that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time in another interesting video till then take care